All right, so we know filling out the FAFSA is not easy, especially with how complicated it's become with all the changes and delays in rolling it out. But if you do it, it can pay off big time, like it did for the ASU student you're about to meet. When ASU freshman Anthony Aredia and his family filled out the FAFSA, they had no idea what kind of hidden savings they were about to unlock. So that, that saved you a lot of money, right? Yeah. Okay, do you know about how much money that saved you? Uh, it's a full ride. You heard right, a full ride thanks to Pell Grants, scholarship money, and other financial aid that Anthony's family qualified for simply by filling out the FAFSA. Were you expecting a full ride? Uh, not at all. It was the surprise savings, Anthony says, helped him not take out a single student loan this year, but not everyone's getting the message. Across the country, FAFSA completion is down considerably year over year, in some places by double percentage points. I recently spoke to Kate Wood, a lending expert with NerdWallet, so we could dive deeper into the issues. Are there any specific trends you notice when it comes to borrowers here in Arizona? Something that has been going on across the country this year is that um, borrowers, uh, students who are you know, still going to school or who are looking to start college in the fall are really struggling with this year's FAFSA. A new version was rolled out by the education department and it's really been hampered by uh, technical glitches and also calculation errors. This has particularly been a burden for students who have a parent or guardian uh, who does not have a social security number. So that has been a really particularly big issue. Our team at ABC 15 has extensively covered this FAFSA fiasco. Things like a delayed rollout, technical problems, and income reporting errors. In April, Governor Katie Hobbs announced half a million dollars in investments to get more students in our state to fill out the FAFSA, with State 48 ranking near the bottom. From a financial sense, we don't want to see anybody leave any money on the table that could be theirs. You definitely do not. Um, you know, and really the FAFSA, despite, you know, these difficulties, despite everything that we've had this year, the FAFSA is really the cornerstone of financial aid in the, you know, American college and university system. It unlocks access to so much funding. And so, you know, overlooking it and just going another path entirely, you are cutting yourself off from a lot of options uh, for paying for school. And with the federal deadline approaching in just weeks, Kate says finishing the FAFSA needs to be a top priority, reminding us it helps with more than just tuition costs. Another thing that you find out if you qualify for is the federal work study program, which I benefited from in my first semester of college. So to see kids lose out on that, that, that would be tough. Yep. Absolutely. FAFSA is one of the things that is used to determine eligibility for work study. So, you know, for programs like that, that can help you pay for not necessarily tuition, but certainly for, you know, money for books, supplies, uh, food, other things like that. That's really helpful. That can be a difference maker. So what was your reaction when you found out qualified for a full ride? Just relief. Filling out the FAFSA definitely made a lot of sense for Anthony. With no debt, he was free to focus on finals freshman year and most importantly fulfilling his dreams i think it's, it's good it's a good opportunity okay for more information about the fafsa tips uh, ways to help you out in this process we've posted those tips from the pros on abc15.com reporting here from asu's main campus in tempe nick saletti abc15 arizona